there's a musty diary on the bed. This writing... Is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? Your dad has a diary? Awesome! I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that, that girl is a reincarnation of Alyssa. Sorry. Now that that girl is a reincarnation of Alyssa, I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were in love, Cheryl. Or was that Alyssa? Now Cheryl's Alyssa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Yay, sun gun battery. Can't open the door. Wow, this place is really bloody. Nothing happens when I try to turn on the TV or the VCR. Why well, bother with the phone? I know it's not connected. Smart girl. go into this room. Oh. Wrong room. Alright. So that was just story and shotgun bullets. I get it. Scary noises. Woo. Chimney Christmas. More noises. <laughs> Why? Um. really really helps out with the names of characters and knowing them. Oh there's the door. It says blood splattered.
think I'll come back to this area. key. That will be helpful. Butterflies. Cheryl always loved butterflies. What is this? Oh my god, blast from the past. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover here is, an, is a picture of dad. Really awful work. What is this doing here? Oh, wait. Okay. That'll be for a puzzle. The scribbling on the floor here is a lesson. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy in a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, everything we never had. Shelves are jammed with books. The top shelf has books on religious teaching that, and textbooks, serious stuff. The other two shelves are full of fairy tale books, like Oz and Alice. Here's Mother Goose and Cinderella. I used to love these. My clothes from when I was seven. They don't fit me now. Good thing, too. Yeah. This is a closet. It's meaningless to me. I don't have time to wax nostalgic over these old clothes. Oh, here's, um, another thing, f okay, from Harry. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Open the door. Sorry. Enough of this idle chit chat. God, I'm not. But I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written some 17 years ago. It looks like Dad wrote this, too. He probably did. Alright. I'm gonna save. I know, it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel, it was some other altar somewhere else. Ah, green! Um, I wish I could fix that. I really do. Alright, Alessa's room. No. By the way, I pressed the button once and that happened. Alright. Back to that other place. Hi, Valtiel. Having fun? That's good. And now I have a shotgun. Which I probably should. Okay, it's all reloaded. Oh wow, you can see almost as well without the flashlight. You guys are probably like, black screen, black screen! Oh my god. Why? Alessa. I'll um, go in there after this. Oh, look, that's from 
the intro! Only not as jittery. This is Alessa's hospital room. There's a picture here, but it's not my style at all. Wow. 24 years ago, Ma Dahlia used me to summon God. They forgot the H! Dahlia is not spelled like that! Sorry. God was in my room, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. There's something stuck in this book. I got the full tarot card. Awesome. This book, hmm. I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Apla oh, Aplaophotis. Red liquid are crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabla, the name is Kaba Kabbalah. God. The name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. Interesting. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Alright. Picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. Huh. Wait. I see... Ampule. God, this place is creepy. Ooh. Handgun bullets. There's some kind of jug here, but there's just a name on the label. No description or anything. It's too risky. Never mind. Good for you, Heather. Don't take drugs that you don't know what they do. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Um. Okay. Alright. Now we must go back. Back near the, uh... Confession booth, I think it says. God. I killed your brethren! That was random. Um... Okay. Mm. Frickin' A. At least I killed one of them. I'm sorry if I'm acting like a wimp. I really am. Um, it's Silent Hill. 